Hey everybody, I'm not great, and welcome to more Bloodborne. Oh, what really is just the trials of a fictional character named Glear through his own personal hellish purgatory. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? I desire to level up. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me. St I'm having a lot of fun. Really? I only get one level off of the, the fucking blood starved beast? Alright, um, let's increase our stamina again. Wow. Farewell, good may you f Let's buy some bullets too. <laughs> cool. Um yeah, I'm having fun with the with the head cannon on this one. And by head cannon I mean the the em embarrassing kind of sort of fan fiction that I'm writing in the description of each one of these episodes to talk about Galir and his experiences as he moves through Yarnum. Um it's fun writing a little a little story, you know? Fun. Not weird. Just fun. Anyways. Um, when last we left off, we killed the blood-starved beast. Finally, it took a little bit. Um, he's a, a big fight, and or he's a, a, a big fight with a little fighter. And for me, it was kind of it took me a second to get used to uh, to the mechanics. And I haven't fought him in a long time, so that doesn't help either. Um, we got our chalice from the Church of the Good Chalice. And now it's time to, we can either head back to the Cathedral Ward or we can try to take on Jira. Um, uh, Jira's a pain in the ass. Um, Jira's a huge pain in the ass. There's a rich pain in the ass, he's a pain in the ass, he's a pain in the ass. Yeah, we'll go to the Cathedral Ward. Also, I hope that I fixed... God, I've been having so many sound problems since I, I'm, I'm trying to stream or stream, record this off of PS5. And I, I tried to do some of the episodes in, you know, vanilla OBS because... There's, oh, the door open. Because there's the ability to... to pause the recording. We're going this way. I saw a window. Damn it. And that pause function is really helpful whenever you're in like a boss fight situation. You know? Um. So you can just pause on your way back to the boss every single time, and it's like, nope, 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 nope. Okay, we got the take. Um. And um, Streamlabs does not have that ability. What is here? I forget what's here. Oh, giant chest. Sweet. Formless Odin. Odin. And Messenger Urn Festival. Sweet. Cool. Um, so I had to move back and forth, and for some reason, Vanilla OBS decided that it was just going to, um, there's a lantern down there. Whee! Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and reset. Um, yeah, Vanilla OBS decided that it was going to change some of my audio settings, and so it had my microphone um, kind of feeding back through as a, a monitor, but there was like a, a, a short delay that just kind of slowly got worse as the recording went on. And so by the end of it, I, I sound like I'm, I'm talking from, from two different places in slightly different times, and it drives me in the fucking sane. But I think I fixed that. I'm pretty sure I fixed that. I'm also not, uh, not giving a shit about it right now. So there's that. We rescued this lady. Oh, no. I haven't forgotten. What do you think I owe you something? <sighs> Well, that's a fine lark, I'd say. This old mess that Yarnum's in, it's all your fault. 
to put it to the outsiders. Our blood's ruined, tainted by your ilk. Don't you come near me. I know your time. If she wasn't going to be valuable for for certain items later in the game, I would absolutely murder that bitch. Just right here and now. You did stop the that. Nobody gets to. This is the way we went the first time. That took us to that lower church. So um, let's go up this time instead. Oh yeah, it's this motherfucker. He doesn't leave stains. All the other guys leave stains. At least he doesn't. So the the little emblem thing that we got, I believe, opened up that gate. This gate here at the bottom. I might be wrong. That gate may have always been open. Whatever. Hey, look! It's the reason that we have bullets. Oh shit, there's two of them now. Hi, Brave! Down here is going to be a fun, but there it is, over there. Not particularly useful item. The monocular. I don't believe. Yeah. No. So who knows what this used to be? I don't. Um. Over there is where is the giant bridge where we fought the uh, cleric beast. I wanted to say, and um, going this way, the little skittery dude. We are going to try and kill very, very quickly. Lots of bloodstone shards. Exactly. 
exactly the upgrade material that we don't need. Finding treasure. Tempering blood gemstone. Sweet. And a door that is closed. Or needs a mechanism to open. Or any of that, it just said closed. That's because that door will never fucking open. Ever. Ever. Like maybe if they remake Bloodborne? Like if they remade Bloodborne and the only change that they made was that that door fucking opened. Like that would be that would be like ground shaking. Change the whole game. Just having that door open. I wish it probably hit. Oh yeah, these fuckers. There we go, that's the item that we need Special envelope open the main gate. Sweet. Or we could have just gone around and like put it that way. But you know what? Nope, we don't we don't split hairs like that. Thick cold blood, cool. Is there only one bird? guys are easy right now. They don't stay that way. But they're a great bullet farm, so... There are fewer beasts we can we can move over to the Kirk hammer and kind of show off what it does. And what it does is um, smash things to a bloody and messy pole. So much knowledge of the mad men. Alright, two gates are down. We need to open all of the gates. That is a thing that I have decided we need to do. Because that, that does a thing. That makes a thing. Oh, hell no. I know that sound. There he is. Come on. 
Try it again. That guy is crazy. He is scary because he will literally, like, he will latch onto you and suck sight out of your brain. Twin Blackstone Sharks. That would be that's an upgrade right there. Some shining coins. Where are our coffers? Um, I think this is where. No. Bring Blood Gemstone level 2. Sweet. Come down this way. Some antidotes. Hey, look. A door. The password. Well, it would be rude to try and guess the password. I mean, if you have a password, you have it there for a reason, and it's just insulting when people go up and it's like, "Oh, I think the password is me, me, me. It's like, You don't, you don't do that. That's disrespectful, and we're we're trying not to be disrespectful. Also, we don't know the password. We we don't know at all what the fuck. I mean, I know the password. But the context of this playthrough, Galir doesn't know the password. Hey, you. down there and take out them. Get some bullets. We will come back up here in a second. this area. <laughs> it helps that we're coming at it from, from the reverse direction that normally you would. There is a very pretty lady we need to find. Oh my, what a queer scent. But I take it over the stench of blood and beasts any day. I'm off during hunt, so if that's what you're here for, I'll leave you to your own devices. If that doesn't do it, come back in the morning, darling. <laughs> there we 
ago. What a lovely lady. Oh, thank goodness. You're a hunter, right? Might you know of a safe place? I do. The night is long, and a very little of the incense left. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. Oh, thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. Oh, you will. You will. How about you? you? You're not from around here, are you? Well, an outsider who's come to join the hunt. What a pathetic idea. You what? What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I'll think you're a beast. And step away from my castle. Um. What, you think this is funny? <laughs> well, I certainly don't, so be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast stunts. Well, what's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. Never why? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. <laughs> cool. Glad you get to die. Nothing there. Nothing there. Oh, there's incense here. Also reminds me. I mean, our defense goes pretty far down, but uh, oh. oh, we have the deepest gratitude for the church and all they do for us. The deepest. <laughs> cool. We're um leaving her the fuck alone because that's creepy. Praise you. Praise the old damn church. And then the best of luck guns here. Best luck of all. <laughs> so now we've dressed up like a priest. Yep, that's what we are. We're gonna put on our white and clothes again. There we go, but no cloak this time. I mean, we're gonna do it with less pretension. And we already killed that guy, so. We did already kill that guy. Okay, good. I am... Oh, I was lying there for a second. Okay, yeah, this is back at the square. Cool, cool, cool. We've come full circle. Not today, Coffin. Not today. Imagine being in a place and so desperate to get out that you're just climbing any ladder that you could possibly find. What is this? A watchman of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password, the sacred adage of the Grand Cathedral. So that tells us kind of um, a little hint as to where we can get the password, I guess. Drop down here. 
Good bullets. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. blood vials. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Alright, so that door's open. I, I want to say that maybe that was the last gate. More bullets. We also want to come this way. Summon Henriette. We don't want to summon Henriette. <laughs> we don't want to summon Henry yet. Close by a device. The fuck do I get over there? Need to figure that out. Um, but no, we're not summoning anybody right now, so. This brings back memories of a different place. Six blood vials, cool. Giant guys in white masks with crucifixes? Probably something I don't want to have anything to fucking do with. Now we have a choice to make. We can either go into the church, we're not going into the church. We can come around this way to an area we definitely shouldn't be in yet. Or we can go to the left and um, kill some witches. I, for one, believe in killing the witches. Bloodshot eyeball. Bold 
hunter's marks. And... I believe there should be... Fairly nearby. Well, that's not the kind of lamp that we need. Um, oh yeah, through there I think there's a lamp. Um, yeah, I don't want to fuck with that. That's way too easy to die over there. Um, so we have a choice to make. But another thing that we can do is figure out how to get that last gate open. And um, before we start running through the woods, we need to go and speak to an old friend. So we'll take care of that in this episode. Dog's barking. All right, I know what's down there. I know how to get down there. Well. Let me rephrase that. I know that I can get down there. I just need to find my way down there. Oh, and there's an item we missed. Was it? It was... Lever was right the fuck over there. Whatever. Um, so that guy that we pissed off, who... Okay, currently doesn't give a shit about us. It's called a bag man. And, um, if he gets his hands on us right now, we are in for a world of trouble. Do not want. Do not want. Do not want. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. That's the, the very last thing that we need is for him to get his hands on us. And we might be able to kill him. It'd be hard, but we could we could probably find a way to murder him. But it's not worth it. Not worth it. Super strong, that one kick did more than half our health and damage. Um, do not want, do not need, have no desire to pursue, and fuck right off. Yeah, that was right there. I walked right past it. Didn't even see it. I don't know, maybe we could summon a cooperator to uh, help us with the bag man. <laughs> That would be something. Numbing mist. Make sure I'm not missing anything else here. Does not seem so. Okay, 
Not a terrible landing. Done better, done worse. Making sure there's nothing up here that we're gonna miss. Does not seem like it. Surprised there's not somebody who's like yelling at me to get off the damn roof or something. Oh, the black messenger hat. So now we have lots of things for the messengers to wear. You know, that makes me feel good. That? You see that? That's a door. And that's like... a 12 foot drop. <laughs> That's where you send company when you don't want them. Like, oh yeah, just leave out that door, it'll be fine. The goddamn bagman is over there. Ah. Is he still over there? Do I see him? I don't see him from here. Maybe he wandered off. Nope, he's still there. Um, so. And he did his little transformation thing. Shit. Um, so yeah, no, we're getting the fuck out of here. That's a hard ass on that bullshit. Our doll. Yeah, she's up here tending this grave. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me stand close. Two levels we get. Uh, let's increase our endurance and also our poison resistance. Hmm. We can increase our attack by quite a bit, too. Defense goes up to 65 either way. Oh yeah, no matter what we do. Oh uh, yeah, we'll do endurance. Farewell, good heart. May you find... Thank you. Oh, hey, Jerry. The healing church and the black ministers who belong to it were once guardians of the hunters in the times of the hunter, Ludwig. They worked and forged weapons in their unique workshop. Today, most ministers don't recall the hunters but they have much to offer you. And so, heed the message of your forebears. Ascend to Erden Chapel. That's the... Yep. So, Erden Chapel is the... Oh, I need one more twin shard. Mother... Um, we can upgrade our pistol, though. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade our flame sprayer. And our torch. Prepare what we can. And blood gems. Are any of our gems... None of our gems are triangular. Okay. Saw cleaver first. Um, let's see. 24? Yeah. And then this one. Put it up to 25. And the Kirk Hammer. Let's see if there are any upgrades here. Yeah, there are. There we are. So that should give us a nice little boost. Sweet little boost for us. Little boosty. Oh, we can probably do the gun, too, actually. 
Yeah. But only one slot still. And only one gem, so it doesn't matter. Let's see, 10 in storage, 27 in storage. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Housekeeping. We haven't checked in with Yosefka in a while. Hey, yo, Yosefka, what is up, my lady? Doctor? Person? I have no regrets for that. I have some regrets for that. Oh, well, hello. Splendid. Let me ask you a small kindness. Okay. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then, if you find any survivors, tell them to seek Yusefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic Oath, if they are yet human, I will look after them. Perhaps even cure them. This sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I should do something to help. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. A reward? Tempted? Well, off you go then. So we can kind of see Yosefka here. Um, sometimes you can glitch through. But not now. So you can kind of see her. There's her face and stuff. But, um, I beseech you, my friends, to go back to episode one and listen to Yosefka's voice. Let's give it a quick listen and see what you think. Um, do we still have Tomb of Odin is still there? Yes. Um, Cathedral Ward is still there. Hmm. Hmm. I know what we'll do. Wait. Galir doesn't want to go back to a church. We've been through several churches. Every single one was terrible. One of them, he got murdered over and over and over again. Galir does not want to go back to a church right now. Nothing to do with the church. Neither to the left nor to the right. Oh, there's our friend, the prostitute. Oh, hello, dear. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Cool. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. All I can give is my blood. <laughs> but would you even take a horse's blood? I mean... Sure. Oh, good. Come close, dear. Don't worry. This isn't the first time. <laughs> Get the blood of Ariana and a little kerchief, too. Oh, hello. Sorry, to have only so much. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Cool. She's a sweet old lady. Um, but now let's go and do the elevator that we rode before. Let's see where it takes us whenever we don't jump out of a window from it. Chest. Definitely not being guarded by a crazy. Dude in a wheelchair. Only four bullets. He has a fucking Gatling gun and he only gives us four bullets. 
What you got? Communion. That is another rune that we cannot use yet. Come on, buddy. Yeah, not so tough without your friends here, are you? Still shooting. Can I roll down there? Shit, I don't remember. I think I can. Yeah. Wind Bloodstone Shards. There's our upgrade. Oh yeah. Here. So, there are tons of items and things around. What we're aiming for is that door right down there. But, you might ask, how do we get there? Well, it's a huge pain in the ass, is the answer. want to get right down there. Um, shit, I hate this part. Friends, if you suffer from vertigo, maybe um, pay less attention to this part. Because, um, you're probably going to die. That way, that way is bullshit. Um, that, nope, that's just gonna be this. Yep, alright, cool. Shit! Ah! Galir did not enjoy that. Clear did not enjoy that at all. I am still messing with the volume on these, and I know it's not going to matter in time for uh, anything to really change, but I um, just wanted to let you know I'm thinking of you all and the audio quality of these videos. in a wheelchair and I missed. Oh man, how embarrassing. I wonder if that guy's gonna try and come after me. Who knows? Alright, so we're not getting those echoes back, that's for damn sure. Nope, missed again. Whee! Shields are nice, but not if they engender passivity. That's the only thing you really need to know off of that whole screen. Let's do it again. So 
many bullets. Shortcut. Damn it, what is the way to get to this point? I swear it was just like rolling off at just the right spot. to get in that door that's like potentially the only safe place in this entire city like the door is almost impossible to get to if we can just get to it knowing that we can feel pain but we can't die we can just get to that door that's what we need Let's make ourselves a bigger target Not the brightest people, but we're also the people who are throwing ourselves off of a ledge over and over and over again. What? Oh, fuck you. What? Oh, fuck you twice. There's also that guy that we'll have to deal with once we get down here. <laughs> we can do this. We can do it. Just wish. Wish I was in regular OBS so I could pause and just, you know, show clips of me dying over and over again. Galir, however, is nothing but if not persistent. No, he's not that actually. He really wants to be in a really safe spot. Bullets for the bullet god. If I drop down there, would I be able to... Maybe? Oh, maybe I can... Okay, that's that's a big maybe, but it's a maybe I'm willing to experiment with. So if we get a running start, and we just leap the fuck off of here, we might be able to get over there. Obviously, I don't remember this part of the game very well. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Let's do it again. Okay, 
Okay, so that way probably isn't going to do it. I don't think that we could have made it that way if we wanted to. Last time we jumped off too soon. And that time we jumped off too late. How many times Galir has to die? We can do this. Should still be way more bullets than just four that we get from that guy. But how many have we gotten from him so far? Like 24, 28, something like that. thing that we need is that one right there, you know? Hmm. Alright, let's try this way. Doubts, but let's try this way. We'll even heal up first. Damn. That seemed like such a better way. Maybe. Sort of. I guess not really. <laughs>
They say the definition of madness is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. And one of the key themes of this game is madness. So um, I think we're doing we're doing it right. like take a mess of damage but yeah oh yeah celebrate by uh, taking a, a shot of blood to the leg I present to you the safest place in Yarnum the abandoned Jesus, that is so weird. An abandoned doll. And a third umbilical cord. That is a creepy thing to carry around on a person. Old hunter bone. No, no secret extra area. That's weird. And where the gate to the, the forest usually is, is, you know, our entrance. So there's that. Um, that's, that's too weird. It's too much. Just sure. Sure, sure, sure. Alright, so that's the safest place. We can go back there anytime we so desire. And now, it's time to go to the place that we don't desire. We'll knock that out, and then we'll call that an episode. Or, we'll get knocked out, and we'll still call it an episode. Because it's late on a Sunday, and I'm recording. Alright, there's our friend. Let's go say hi. Whoa there. And he's down, and we get the beast rune. See if we can open these doors. Where they might lead us. Hmm. Anaya <laughs> curses. Anaya to remember. Wouldn't you say, friend? <laughs> You're creepy. Moving right along. Um, that's a trap. All right, we're gonna call it here. Thank you all for watching. Um, we did a little bit of secret cross dressing. No one will ever have to know. Actually, I like this tableau better. Not that it really matters at all. But, you know, 
Um, yeah, no one ever has to know that we put on doll clothes while we were in the old abandoned workshop. Um, and yeah, we're going to keep this thing going. So um, I do hope you like this episode. I do hope the sound turns out better. I also, Jesus, God damn it. I'm in the middle of my fucking outro, and you assholes. You tremendous assholes. Mother fucker. God damn it. Just. Ahem. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm working on the audio stuff. I promise I'll have it better eventually. Um, I might take some time to experiment with it. I don't know. But um, until the next episode, I do hope that you are staying safe and healthy out there. And also, I hope that you have a good one. <laughs>